The ocean covers over 70% of the Earth's surface, making maritime transportation indispensable for global trade and travel. To meet these demands, naval engineers have designed immense vessels pushing the boundaries of size and scale. Two such giants stand apart as the largest the seas have ever seen, the Prelude Natural Gas Platform and the Boca Vanguard Heavy Lift Ship. These staggering nautical structures reveal the awe-inspiring capabilities of human engineering. The Prelude Floating Liquefied Natural Gas Facility is a landmark achievement in marine engineering and energy infrastructure. At 488 meters long, it is the largest offshore processing platform ever constructed. Built for energy company Royal Dutch Shell, Prelude's purpose is to liquefy natural gas harvested from seabed wells before transfer to LNG tanker ships. Its size exceeds the largest aircraft carriers and supertankers. As the first floating LNG plant, Prelude can access offshore gas fields previously too small or remote to tap cost effectively. Its mobility and production capacity will reshape the global LNG supply chain. Prelude's purpose as a floating LNG plant is to convert natural gas extracted from underwater wells into liquefied natural gas for maritime transportation. In its normal gaseous state, natural gas occupies much greater volume, making storage and shipping inefficient. Cooling gas to minus 162 degrees Celsius shrinks its volume 600 times into liquid form. LNG can then be carried in specialized tankers to destinations lacking direct pipeline access. Onshore liquefaction plants perform this process after raw gas is piped hundreds of miles from offshore platforms. But building these facilities and pipelines requires investments of billions. Prelude offers an alternative by liquefying gas directly above fields on the open sea. This avoids complex seabed pipelines to shore. The floating plant taps gas via flexible risers and then chills it on board using massive refrigeration systems before loading it into carriers. Prelude's liquefaction capacity of over 5 million metric tons per year makes it a strategically valuable mobile facility amid rising global gas demand. It can unlock smaller, isolated offshore deposits previously stranded due to the cost barriers of pipelines and onshore construction. Global demand for liquefied natural gas has expanded exponentially in recent decades as more nations seek energy alternatives and gas-fired power generation grows. Accessing gas reserves often requires liquefaction for transport. But with much of the remaining worldwide gas resources in scattered, smaller offshore deposits, a gap emerged. These remote fields were untenable for conventional fixed pipelines and onshore processing plants, costing billions. Yet they represent nearly 40% of the undiscovered gas still available. Enter Royal Dutch Shell's solution, a floating LNG facility. Prelude's mobile design and 5.3 million ton annual liquefaction capacity make small, far-flung gas fields commercially viable. Over its 25-year lifespan, the project can tap previously stranded reserves equivalent to hundreds of billions of cubic meters. As the world competes for new gas supplies, this ability to economically access once unreachable deposits is a strategic advantage. Prelude's concept is especially valuable to Asia's rapidly growing LNG import demand. The facility's position off Australia gives it short proximity access to key markets like Japan, China, and Korea. Its economies of scale and offshore capabilities are perfectly aligned with the region's needs and gas field geography. Prelude opens the door to vital new LNG sources, building a floating liquefied natural gas plant pushed boundaries for naval engineering complexity. The project team faced an immense challenge, compress the functionality of a massive onshore gas facility into a 488 meter long, 74 meter wide hull. This required condensing Prelude's footprint to just one-fourth of that of a typical coastal plant. Housing the cryogenic refrigeration systems, liquefaction trains, storage tanks, and living quarters within these tight dimensions demanded extensive 3D modeling. Every pipe bend and structural component was virtually prototyped to optimize layout. 
Prefabrication then assembled over 260,000 tons of equipment into modular sections for final integration. Only South Korea's GOG shipyard operated dry docks large enough for Prelude's hull, requiring customization to match the project's specifications. At its peak, 6,000 shipyard workers simultaneously assembled the myriad components involved. Testing systems at scale post added challenges. LNG storage tanks were filled with 300,000 cubic meters of water to validate that their seabed foundations could handle the load. Prelude synthesized the expertise of over 600 engineers across its five-year construction timeline. The project exemplifies how size alone can push technological boundaries. Its floating LNG plant concept simply could not have been realized without the heights of sophisticated planning, analysis, and construction expertise marshaled. Turreted Mooring System Despite its vast size, Prelude had to remain stationary above gas wells offshore Western Australia. Its innovative 16-chain mooring system anchors it to the seabed, while allowing 360-degree rotation to align with currents and weather. This first-of-its-kind giant turret is secured by massive hydraulically-driven pylon foundations. Withstanding extreme weather, the cyclone-prone environment demanded extreme resilience. Prelude's moorings withstand Category 5, winds over 250 kph and 100-foot swells. Other floating platforms temporarily disconnect during storms, but Prelude's uninterrupted production required permanent all-weather stability. Its site has only two 20-day calm windows a year. LNG offloading at sea. LNG carriers must regularly load from Prelude in open ocean conditions. Transferring cryogenic liquid between two vessels on the high seas is complex, requiring custom-designed offloading arms and infrastructure. Dynamic positioning thrusters enable precision movement to facilitate this dangerous process that cannot fail. Prelude's sheer scale and marine engineering advances have opened a new chapter in liquefied natural gas production. Its strategic mobility and capacity will prove vital as the global energy competition intensifies. This true nautical titan has laid the foundations for fleets of floating LNG plants that will unleash offshore gas reserves, once limited by geography and technology. Joining the Prelude floating liquefaction facility among massive nautical structures is the Boca Vanguard heavy lift vessel. Built in 2012 by Dutch firm Dockwise, the 275-meter ship is the world's largest semi-submersible transportation vessel. It introduced new economies of scale and delivery capabilities to serve the booming offshore oil and gas industry. With its submersible deck able to lift up to 117,000 tons, the Boca Vanguard is unmatched for carrying capacity. Its strategic value in delivering mega platforms and maintenance services has transformed deep water energy logistics worldwide. The Boca Vanguard was conceived to transport the new generation of gigantic floating oil and gas platforms being built for deep water sites as oil companies tap ever more challenging reservoirs like Brazil's offshore pre-salt fields, production platforms reach new heights of size and weight. Petrobras P66 Behemoth, for example, weighs over 80,000 tons. But transporting such massive structures thousands of miles from construction yards posed an obstacle. Previously, platforms were partially built, towed in segments, and assembled on location, wasting months. The Boca Vanguard's sheer 117,000-ton lift capacity revolution enabled shipyards to fully construct platforms for immediate offshore deployment upon delivery. This removed expensive assembly time and enabled faster oil or gas production. The Boca Vanguard became integral to offshore delivery logistics thanks to its unmatched ability to lift any fully assembled platform or production floater. Its capabilities were tailored precisely to the oil industry's escalating platform scope and ambitions in deepwater frontiers. The Boca Vanguard's record-setting scale as a heavy lift vessel arises from its unique semi-submersible deck design. Like a massive cargo elevator, 
This giant open deck can submerge up to 16 meters below the waterline. Once floating cargo is floated into position above it, the deck is raised by draining its ballast tanks. This enables the lifting of mega structures up to 117,000 tons for transport anywhere across the oceans. The Boca Vanguard exceeded prior lift records, with even the vast aircraft carrier USS Gerald Ford weighing only 100,000 metric tons, and its tower cranes enable self-loading and unloading without port infrastructure. At 216,000 tons, the Boca Vanguard also dwarfs traditional heavy lift ships. Its beam width, draft, freeboard height, and length of 275 meters are all optimized for stability under extreme loads. While often transporting oil platforms, its versatility also enables salvage operations. After lifting the stranded Carnival Vista cruise ship in 2019, it earned well-deserved renown as the king of heavy maritime lift. The Boca Vanguard's unmatched capacities conferred major advantages for offshore energy companies compared to the traditional transportation model. Full platform construction in shipyards achieved significant savings on labor and material costs compared to on-site assembly. Rapid delivery also meant faster oil or gas production. For a mega platform costing billions, even weeks of earlier operation equate to millions in revenue. In addition to transportation, the vessel provides at-sea platform maintenance. By lifting rigs from offshore sites into its dry dock bay, production can continue rather than going offline for months of towing to land. This capability slashed operating expenses. The ship's versatility has also been proven through unique projects, like salvaging the cruise liner Carnival Vista. But its core value remains the expedited delivery of the floating giants, now enabling oil and gas development in ultra-deep waters. The Boca Vanguard has shown how strategic innovation in marine transportation methods can enable previously unfeasible energy projects. Its immense scale has expanded offshore drilling and production possibilities. The Boca Vanguard has propelled heavy maritime lift capabilities to staggering new levels. Its immense scope has expanded possibilities for fabricating, delivering, and maintaining offshore energy infrastructure. This singular ship has enabled the pursuit of mega projects previously impossible or uneconomical. For an industry constantly pursuing bigger ambitions, the Boca Vanguard provided the vital missing link. While most ships ply the seas inconspicuously, these two extreme vessels boldly announce the phenomenal scale of human engineering. Prelude and Boca Vanguard are not just the largest ships of their kind, but pioneering examples of innovation and problem solving. Their sheer size and complexity stand as monuments to an era in which no maritime challenge seems insurmountable. Let us know your thoughts on the world's largest ships in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell for more engineering wonders.